Welcome back to another episode of Christian Natural Health. Today, I'm excited to have my neighbor, Annie Pafford, with us. Annie is the owner of Healthy Naturally You. She's next door to us at Nature Cure Family Health in Tucson, Arizona. She is a certified laser technician and certified sound therapist with a 20-year background in nutrition and fitness. She was born and raised in Tucson, but she started Healthy Naturally You in 2011 in Michigan and moved back to Tucson in 2020, opening her practice here in February 2021. She's also the mother to three handsome sons. Welcome, Annie. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah. How are you? So tell us a little bit about your wellness clinic. Uh, how did you get started in the healthcare space? Why did you get started in the healthcare space? Okay. Yes. Um, actually, uh, I had a back injury in 2010 mm -hmm. and I bought a low level laser and I avoided surgery and decided to take this natural route. Mm -hmm. And with that, uh, birthed a year later into my business. Um, I have a son named Dylan who has cystic fibrosis. So I was already on the health and wellness trail with raising him and doing the best I could to figure out for his health care. Mm -hmm. And this low level laser tremendously helped his lungs and liver. And so I just started combining my back injury with his health and it kind of just blossomed. Yeah, that's awesome. So when you were doing the low level laser at first, were you using it in specific areas that you like read about or were you just like playing around and seeing what worked or how did that go? Um, no, I, I, uh, I, I dove into company and said, give me everything to teach me. And they sent me a manual and I literally followed verbatim how to work on my L4, L5 disc. And mm -hmm. it took me six months to stand up straight for the first time. And it took wow. me a year to be able to hold my body without feeling like I got fatigued by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And um, basically had to learn how to rewalk. The process taught me a lot. Uh -huh. and I'm uh, allergic to kinds of medications, so I couldn't take any kind of pain pills. So I learned really what it was like to, to heal on a raw level and how um, healing crisis when you're healing really does happen, but it's for the better of the body to know your limits while you're healing and it's not masked. So it taught me so much and that just blossomed into me looking on how I could help others. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So that explains kind of why you focus on the frequency based therapies, because that's what helped you and your son primarily, right? Yes. Um, I was a little shocked in the beginning. I'm not going to lie. Um, I kind of, uh, I didn't want surgery and I didn't know what else to do. So I blindly did go in this. It was more on faith. Right. I just felt like God was pushing me in this direction. So I really didn't have like an instruction beside the manual they sent me on anybody using this or how the outcome would be or la da 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 I figured it out right and yeah. I'm glad I didn't have anybody because I made mistakes and in those mistakes it taught me uh what to do and not to do so it, uh, really I wouldn't change anything it, yeah. it worked out perfectly yeah that's great so in addition to the low-level laser you've expanded to other frequency-based therapies so sound and light talk about what you offer and what you typically use those therapies for. Yeah, so in this journey, um, it's been, you know, I'm into my, going into my 15th year. So in this journey, I have focused on photonic light, um, low level frequencies. Believe it or not, our uh, body is so amazingly made, but we, like our heart has a frequency to it. Our liver has a frequency to it. And and through this process, I went and got certified as a la laser certification tech. So I became a sound therapist because I found in sound therapy two wavelengths. I just started understanding how the body can heal with your certain frequency wavelengths. And so I just started searching for everything that fell into that category. Mm -hmm. And now I have literally a hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment in my office. <laughs> I have right. Almost every form of frequency and light therapy and laser therapy you can think of and a couple of new things on the horizon that are coming. So, yeah. um, I, I've just seen miracles happen with this type of healing and modality. It's sad that it, it's not known 
for what it really can do. I mean, it's getting more popular, definitely. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning, a lot of people, you know, 15 years, 2010, when I was getting things up and running, people thought, you know, I was crazy for, you know, doing this for my back, doing this to avoid surgery. But now I like have the greatest stories and things for helping people. Yeah, that's fabulous. Very cool. So, um, and I, I kind of started going down this rabbit hole myself fairly recently when I started learning about EMF and damaging frequencies. And the flip side of that is, of course, there's healing frequencies too. So right. how do you know, like for a given person in front of you, how do you decide what their protocol is going to look like in terms of like, is it sound? Is it light? Which machine do you pick for them? Is there, yeah. can you give it, walk us through that process? What does that look like? Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's walk through this. So, um, first off everything that I have in my office is they're all, uh, FDA approved safe frequencies. Yeah. I have no damaging frequencies. Mm -hmm. Um, I love the concept of a rife machine, but you have to dial it in correctly. And if you don't, right. it can be damaging. So, um, yeah everything that I have in this office actually goes to the next level beyond that. So it's all safe. So I just want to make that clear. So Absolutely. when somebody comes in, I have about seven to nine different ways to approach using the equipment that I have in my office, uh, depending on their situation. So you usually get five different frequency type therapies in my office, anywhere from a biofeedback to sound therapy, low level lasers, red light, photonic light. It's amazing. I, it is absolutely important, especially here in the United States, that if somebody's not getting some kind of response right away, they think it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. So with natural healing, it, it's longer. It, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't mask it. You don't, you don't understand like sometimes the longevity of it really takes a little while. Mm -hmm. So I figured out kind of like a blender and blended some things together and it sped up all my therapy timelines for my okay. clients. And then they started getting results faster and starting, okay, this is actually working. Mm -hmm. So um, that's, I would say my unique part in this business is I figured out how to blend and right. what's best for my clients. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And so just kind of like a broad sp uh, spectrum overview of how frequencies help the body to heal. So from yeah. what I studied, it was kind of like mitochondria and helping with blood flow and helping with lymphatics. Give us a little bit of a, a, a description of how these things work together. Okay. So basically um, it's true. If you, the mitochondria is the workhorse of our cell. So, right. mm -hmm. and it is, it is very important that when free radicals are attacking our cells, the mitochondria can take a hit from all that as well inside the cell. Mm -hmm. And so um, lasers and light therapy and photons. Okay. We can, it, Matt, it, instantly soaks up into the cell, helps kick out free radicals and it helps repair the mitochondria. And in that process, you're charging up your cell. It is, it is truly an amazing process. And so if your cell is depleted, let's do a one to 10, your cell is running about a five and it should be running a 10. Okay. And um, you walk in and you have 30 days of therapy, not 30 consistent days, but a 30 day period of time with them. Okay. Right. So 40% uh, of your cells are going to die in that, in those 30 days. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if we, we charged your body up for those, that time period of time, guess what? When that cell dies, it's going to be more like a seven instead of a five. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then that cell, that cell is healthier. Right. So we start taking back your health one cell at a time by right. charging up your cells, literally with photonic light. Okay. It, it is quite amazing. Um, uh, we need food, we need water, we need sleep. Mm -hmm. We do need the sun, mm -hmm. um, but the sun is so important, but light, mm -hmm. photonic light, it, it feeds our body amazingly. So yeah. it's, it's, super, it's super important to all aspects from burns to broken bones, to depression, to hair loss. Mm -hmm. photonic light and frequencies help with all of that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so what are some of like your favorite success stories or conditions that you really love to treat because you feel like they they respond especially well? Well, um, I, um, that's a good question. So 
I did say my son Dylan has cystic fibrosis. He's 22 years old. And so I really like helping with the digestion. I really like helping with the lungs. I deliver the pancreas. Um, just because when I was going through my back injury, I really saw a turnaround in my son's health mm -hmm. by lasering him and phone calls for him. And, and so, um, you know, so many things happen and so many things that start taking our body down a notch and another notch and another notch is all from the junk in our gut. So uh, I think I love going after the lungs and digestion, but I treat the whole body. So it, in a, um, a very soft, confident way, I don't want to sound arrogant, but a very soft, confident way. I love treating anything mm -hmm. because if I haven't treated before, I kind of already know the realms of what I'm going to see because the body has a natural way of certain steps that happen for healing. Mm -hmm. And it, it happens to all of us, no matter what they kind of, from a broken leg to um, anxiety, it, it, there's some similar stages that the body will go through. And so um, I just like taking on any challenge, to be quite honest, but I would say the digestion and lungs are personal for me. Favorites. Yeah, that makes sense. So, and tell yeah. us a couple of, of uh, success stories that you thought were really remarkable. Okay. Yes. Um, so I had a gentleman and I was three years into my business and he, his daughter is a massage therapist and she heard about me. And they were going to amputate his legs from knees, one from the knee down and the other one from, it was looking as if it was going to go to, and mm -hmm. he had diabetic ulcers and they had gotten so out of control. Um, his diet was horrible and he wasn't helping the situation, but, um, she brought him in and, um, they unwrapped his legs and I smelled death through mm -hmm. his skin. It was the most unbelievable smell of my life. And I never seen any kind of his tissue was dying. Okay. And, um, and at one point we can see a little bit down to the bone wow. and so, uh, she's like, in two weeks, they're going to amputate. Do you think you can help? And I was like, Whoa, ah, uh, this might be way out of my range here, but mm -hmm. she's like, we don't know what to do. And we feel lost in the system. So can you just try? So I said, he needs to be here every day. Yeah. And believe it or not, I have the pictures. I have the proof of it. I have all of it. And in nine months, I saved his legs. Awesome. Literally. He didn't have to have them amputated and helped mm -hmm. heal up the wounds. And it was a an incredible process to watch. So, mm -hmm. um, outside of my back injury and treating my son, I think he's my favorite crazy, unbelievable yeah. story that I, I encountered. Yeah. And I assume your nutrition counseling came to bear on that one as well. Most likely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He, he was, he was banned from Mountain Dew. I can tell you that. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Excellent. <laughs> Very so. Cool. so, and then what would you do? I think you, you mentioned to me before that sometimes with certain people, you have to go very slow because the, there can be a detox process as part of this. So yes. what's actually happening there? And when do you know that you can like put on the brakes versus like full speed ahead in terms of the treatments? Yes. So, um, in my practice, I offer your first three sessions for $95. It's a first time client. Mm -hmm. Those three sessions give me quite a lot of info feedback and information about what your body's doing and how it's responding. Right. And, um, and that helps me put on the gas or take off the brakes, uh, or put on the brakes, sorry, um, to the, to how I'm going to approach them after the third session yeah. um you know it, it's funny a fair skin person or um they actually can heat up a lot faster there's just little things in the body that you know just even your ethnic background can teach me how to put on the brakes or put on the gas and sure. um so unfortunately the longer you've had something or the sicker you've been or um something you've battled over the years we got to go slow. It, right. it, we, we, we go, we start off slow. It's just, um, detoxing the body it, it, too fast is a tailspin. And, um, so I learned that early on with my body and my back injury, and I couldn't figure out why my pain went up so bad that I lasered more, lasered more and right. had no idea I was in a healing crisis. Right. And so I was my first 
learning lesson on that one. Yeah, so. absolutely. So <laughs> yeah, so tell me a lot. Of, yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of that, it sounds like it's mostly just if you're stimulating lymphatic flow, but if you're dumping a bunch of metabolic waste faster than you can actually eliminate it, which I've seen in various different types of lymphatic movement approaches, if you do it too quickly, yes. people are going to feel worse. And the more toxic they are, the more, the slower you have to go. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And unfortunately that can scare somebody off because right. that response to their body, um, scares them. They're like, what just happened to me? Sure. So it's, it's really important to have them understand what could be going on, what could happen and that we're taking it very slow. Right. Yeah. And there's a distinction between like a healing crisis and a disease crisis and trying to recognize and identify what's actually happening can help to put people in a state of ease too. to say, okay, yes. what was anticipated? We expect this kind of a thing too. So yes, 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 yes. And, and I would say, um, 80% of the people that come into my office fall in the normal range of just a very nice, easy consistency that I can keep. There's a 20% that, um, it's different. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, yeah. So it, it's just, that's why I offer the three to find out where, right. where are the bugs. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yep. Makes sense. Got it. So, and then some of the specifics, I think that you'd mentioned that you had, there's multiple different types of sound therapy, multiple different types of, of, uh, light therapy. Tell us like kind of some of the specifics that you offer. Yes. So I'm a certified sound therapist. Um, I use tuning forks and um, a lot of my tuning forks I use for grief, anxiety, depression. Um, I definitely start my clients with sound therapy if they're coming in for those those symptoms or those issues. Okay. Um, sound therapy to me was of all my equipment and everything I do, it, it shocked me on how much um, it can release out of the body and balance the body. I just have to say that that mind boggled me. So I dove into it more, dove in into more. And I'm like, that's it. I'm going to go get certified. I love this. Yeah. And so, um, so I use sound therapy in an aspect of balancing the body and, and, and doing that you actually um, get to a faster pace of healing when you come into balance. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. 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 And I have a biofeedback machine. So, um, that's, that's most people have never been on a biofeedback machine. have never used it. And so that is part of everybody's therapy. I use it every time somebody can, they get 30 minutes of biofeedback each time they come in, no matter what they have. And, um, and you know, uh, my clients that have had strokes in the past and, um, they really can tell, with the biofeedback, they just know something altered and changed for them. So the more depleted you are, the mm -hmm. actually more that you can tell that something has taken place. Sure. That makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So what have I not asked you that you want to make sure you leave with our audience? Uh, so I have red and green lasers. Mm -hmm. Um, I have 12, um, I have four different low level lasers. I have, um, I have two uh, sets of red light therapy panels and pretty soon I'm going to have a red light room. So you can sit oh, wow. in a red light room. Yeah. Yep. I have sound frequency beds that are on their way and I'm going to combine that with red light therapy. So when you're on the sound bed, you're going to get red light therapy as well. Yep. Um, the machine behind me, um, I think we're just audio, right? Not, not. Okay. So no, well, I have, we're going to do video as well, but we'll, we'll have some of each. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the photon genus is made in Phoenix mm -hmm. and, um, the only one right now in Tucson running in, in a practice. Mm -hmm. And I've ran this for 12 years and the photon genus can do the heart, the brain, the liver, the bones, the everything. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, um, my favorite is the photon genius. Um, so, I guess um, I have a new um, Piozza wave coming in this summer and I'm going to be working with cartilage yeah. and helping, you know, people who have cartilage left and to help them repair and regrow some cartilage. Yeah. So okay. yeah, well, I have a lot of things on the horizon, but I have a lot of things here that is, is just um, 
kept me in business for almost 50, well, 14 and a half years almost. So yeah, fabulous. Very cool. So where can people go to learn more about you? Yes, I'm in the middle right now of updating my website, moving into this new office and a few more uh, modalities that are being added. So it's currently down. Mm -hmm. But if um, they were to reach out to me uh, via text or phone call, they can reach me at 269-330-6847. That's my Michigan area code phone number. But um, that's that's how you get a hold of me. Yep. 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 And I have uh, one hour consultations and there, it's a $30 consultation. So I can show you everything and answer your questions. Fabulous. Yeah. Well, I will link to that in the show notes and thank you so much, Annie. This has been great. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. You have a fabulous day. Thank you for having me on. Absolutely.